Hi, I'm Kay Neary. I'm a reference librarian at Massasoit and the library liaison for honors students. In this video, I will go over the research guide for your class as well as some helpful resources for your paper. You can access the guide from within your campus course under the library resources link. You have many options for finding information. Through the library, you have access to databases of magazines and journal articles, reference books like encyclopedias, books, and ebooks. All of our online resources are available to you 24-7. Just follow the prompts to log in. As you approach your paper, the first step to research is picking a topic that interests you. Sometimes picking a topic means doing some pre-research to make sure there's enough information out there. Research requires some flexibility. We have two databases that are helpful starting off points, Opposing Viewpoints and CQ Researcher. You might be familiar with these if you've taken another course. You can find these listed on the guide under Best Places to Start. Both of these databases will provide topic ideas as well as background information and context on the issue. This could be helpful for the history section of your paper. Let's start with Opposing Viewpoints. When you are embarking on a large research project, like your ethics paper, it's helpful to think of your topic in terms of keywords. So those are those important words that make up your topic. You can brainstorm some synonyms, which will give you more opportunities for searching, and you'll find more information. In Opposing Viewpoints, you can enter your keywords here in the search box. Or if you're still looking for inspiration, go to Browse Issues to look at all of the topics covered in the database. I'll start by searching for plagiarism. The way the database is set up is that you'll have an overview article here at the top of the page. This is where you'll find your background on the topic. And if you scroll down, you'll see a list of all of the other types of sources that the database includes. You'll have journals, statistics, websites, audio stories, news stories, and more. The nice thing about opposing viewpoints is that any source, no matter what the type, will have a citation associated with it. Let's take a look at the overview article. Here's all of your information. And Opposing Viewpoints has a lot of great tools. So you can translate the article, you can listen to the article, and here is the Cite tool up here at the top of the page. Click there to get your MLA citation. You can also use the Send To option to send your articles to Google Drive or to your email. This is really helpful for an assignment such as yours where you're finding information from a lot of different sources. Keeping them organized is going to make the writing process easier. Now let's take a look at CQ Researcher. The articles that you find through CQ Researcher tend to be a lot longer. They're very in-depth because they've been very well researched. You can browse by topic or you can enter your keywords here at the top of the page. Articles in CQ Researcher tend to be long. It's helpful to use this list of links on the left side of the page to jump ahead to different sections. When you're writing your history section, you might find the background and the chronology to be helpful. If you click on the chronology, for example, that will give you a timeline that shows your topic throughout history. As you get to the current situation of your paper, you can also take a look at that section. There's also an outlook, so lots of good places to look for information. The other thing I'm going to show you is the bibliography. So this is a list of different books, articles, and studies that you can take a look at to see more about your topic. If you find something that looks interesting, you can jot down the title, and I'll show you how to search for that in our discovery search to see if we can find the full text. At the top of the article, you'll see your Cite Now tool and your print and email tools. The last place we'll look is our discovery search. You can search by keyword, or the title of a book or article that you might have found from reading another source. Discovery searches all of our books, ebooks, and databases at one time, so you're going to find a lot of results. As you can see, I have 75,000 here, so many more than you'll want to sift through. Many topics that you search for have a research starter at the top of the page. This is helpful as another place to look for background information. In my search results, you can tell what each type of source is underneath the title. It will tell you if it's a book, ebook, or article. The Refined Results menu on the left side of the page is a helpful place to go to narrow down your topic. 
and the search results that you're seeing. One helpful limit is the publication date slider. So as you get into the section of your paper where you're talking about things happening in the current day, you can slide that up to see items that have been published within the last few years. This will update your search results automatically. Another helpful limit is the source type limit. So you can opt to just look at academic journals, newspapers, magazines, any of the sources that you see listed here. Another place I often look is the subject option. And this can sometimes give me another idea for keywords or another way to phrase my topic to narrow it down a little bit. Underneath each source, you'll also see a list of subjects, and I often will get keyword ideas from here. In addition to the databases we've reviewed, we also have print books, streaming video, and websites for statistics available through the guide. If you're not finding good sources at first, don't get discouraged. You can try a different combination of keywords or even a different database, and please feel free to ask me for help. Keep in mind that you don't need a perfect source that aligns perfectly with your topic. You can take small bits of information from multiple sources and combine them into your own argument. If you need help at any point, you can make an appointment to meet with me, we can meet through Zoom or in person, and you can always send me an email. I look forward to helping you and hearing more about your project.